Salutations and welcome back everyone to episode 3 of us playing in Kaz Redux as a union of people's Durgas. I'm your host, Mr. Hater of Dominion, a Delhi lover. Huh. But regardless, the Dissenton land fleet under the new Jean Baz are designed around 1933. The Dissenton Diston tractor tank, aka the Diston 6 ton, is just one example of many experimental armored vehicles designed in America by other great powers, as well that utilized. Caterpillar tractors and armored superstructure as ways for these nations to practice and perfect tank design since their inception during the Great War, while turning a buck by exporting them to smaller, more desperate nations and militaries along the way. The Diston itself is made up of one such simplistic armored chassis, anywhere from 6 to 13 millimeters thick, affixed atop said Caterpillar tracks that can move the vehicle along at a top speed about 10 kilometers per hour or 5 miles per hour, while being fitted with a hull mounted 30 caliber Marlin machine gun all below a turret sporting a 37 millimeter M1916 cannon, amounting to a slowly moving metal box as dangerous to any soft targets surround it as its own three man crew inside earning our new tankers the nickname of the new John Baz, taken from the old Afghan cavalry in service of the Shah, whose title meant Life Gamblers. Nevertheless, these beasts are all we got, and after the Americans failed to find a buyer for these metal death traps anywhere else in the world, we were able to secure the entire stock, a whooping five tanks of these experimental relics at a massively reduced cost in 1935, importing them through the port of Karachi by boat from America, and then by train the rest of the way to Kabul, and now, after being fully integrated into our armed forces, we are ready to see the results. Though some international onlookers from our allied foreign attaches, who have been training us on the Distan's use and wider armor tactics, have laughed at the sight of such a vehicle while likening the Distan's boxy and scrappy appearance to uh, something called a Bob Sample, whatever that is, we know the truth. These are the mightiest armored vehicles to ever trudge across the sands and mountains of Central Asia, and this mighty land fleet at our command, Afghanistan's dominance is all but assured. The modern John Baz of Afghanistan prepared to charge. Hey, look at that. We got some Bob Samples, basically. But you can see, we're actually doing, doing quite well. The Socialist Republic of Iran has gone to war with the Dominion of India, which is uh, well, Delhi, not India, uh, which helped us out. The product of the economy is kind of sucking hard right now, which is not good for our future. And yeah, we actually broke across the river here, which is actually pretty good too. That being said, uh, they, ooh, look, they're attacking us too. Um, we have our cavalry, engineers now, and artillery, 18 cavalry, which is okay. We have the Basmachi volunteers, which has the same uh, things there. And now we've got some mountaineers here too, which you've had to use a lot of army XP for. Now they're 24 combo with, with the same type of template, basically. So as long as they don't attack us, I'm kind of okay with that. Attacking through here, not gonna lie, it's been kind of pain in the butt. Uh, but we'll do what we can. I'm gonna leave the mountaineers. I converted these guys to mountaineers because we just need more defense and whatnot. Hopefully we can do well here. We should be able to do well here. I mean, they're only the Dutch, and they only have infantry and battalions and whatnot, so... But they are attacking us a little crazy-like, which is fine with us. It's what I honestly prefer. Come on, beat the crap out of them. You know what? Help the support the attack, too. Oh, the French are there. Oh, huh, we won. If we get down through here and get to the uh, port of Karachi, that'd be great. How do we get those tanks during this time when... Uh, huh. Oh, I guess we're also trying to get a nuclear thingamabob. Uh, more arty, please. Yes, please. But we'll get 1.75 political power every single day, and we're currently doing reviving the Afghan Air Force. Fantastic. Oh, hello. Congo Verstadt was annexed. Oh, hello. Well, well, they're definitely fighting. Oh, well, they're, they're in a two-front war. That really sucks. Uh, cool. What else are we going to do here? Well, since we're here, um, we're going to go up here and do Afghanistan on the world stage, because there's an event we should read about, too. Oh, we don't need that one open. This stuff would be nice, but we're going to next move towards Air Force Command stuff. So Now, I would like to attack here. Ooh, Bhutan is gone. Oh, who's this? Kingdom of Sikkim. Uh, okay, cancel material support. All right, so what do we got here? Air flexibility, air attack defense, ground attack. Well, air flexibility, air attack and defense sounds pretty good to us. At least start it, you know. We've come in our tenacity. You want attack? I like that. Modern Afghan army. It's looking decent. Cavalry still gets a boost though, which is good for us. All right, so that's the case. You guys are gonna attack here. I want to have you guys here to attack as well. Can you win? Hey, you might as well go all the way in then. We're doing okay. Are we doing fantastic? No. We're doing okay. We need more guns. We have enough already. We need more support equipment. We've got more than enough trucks for a while here. It's not bad. Support equipment. Can we buy that? Social Republic of Argentina, very nice. Uh, let's go over here and support equipment. No. Do we need more guns? Yes, we do. 
We buy them on international markets. No, of course. Why would we be able to? We're freaking Afghanistan or the Union of People's Jurgas. And we jurga well. Oh, hello. That is not ideal. Get your butts over there. Look, they're all attacking. No, they're not all attacking. Just hold on, cavalry. You're doing a great job. Uh, we'll be charismatic. Hello. Yes. Sure. Good. That's better. Now, they're not all attacking, which is kind of disappointing, but whatever. Alright, you can go in there. I don't want to lose Peshawar, but it is what it is. Falls ill. He's learning a lot. It's becoming very good, actually. You just trade him in and out all the time. I do not want to lose this tile, as we've fought very hard for this. Oh, I don't want to lose this tile either. Not ideal. Um, keep it up. We're doing okay. I want you all there except for you. Really don't want to lose it. Really don't. We might actually end up losing it, though. And that would be ideal, but it is what it is. God dang it. Are you freaking kidding me? We have fought so long and hard for that tile. Uh, there, there's no way we can fight six divisions over the river. Fine, so be it. Just hold on to everything else we, we've got so far. Hello. Yeah, you lost, you bunch of suckers. An Afghan alliance? She would throw away beyond one of the great powers, joining one of their alliances and rising to the world stage as a subordinate of some other greater united force, or she would push forward towards her own destiny. Um, by ourselves, creating a new alliance led by us and with the Afghan interests truly at heart alone or above all the other pursuits, also leave us without the backup of a superpower. It will give us the freedom to do as we please on the global stage without the risk of getting dragged into foreign wars. What shall we do? Well, let's take a look-see. we got the fourth international. Because there's a third international right there. Formalized Kabul Pact. Join one of our options. Well, I mean, I don't know. The fourth international, that's pretty freaking strong, not gonna lie. Yes, we've got the second, first and second international. We've got the third international, so Russia's just like, screw it, I want the fourth international. They also have the National Revolution of Government and the Mongolian People's Republic, too. And again, they, they're literally an unstable nation. They're a very stable nation. And you guys, well, you're doing all right. You all are a bunch of cynicalists. And then the third international is what? They're a bunch of totalists. Of course, they would not be the right. Ones. How about Bharatiya Commune? You are radical socialists. Um, I want to form a Kabul back. We could include Bharatiya Commune here, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Can we invite you guys in too? Yeah, you know what? We might be able to. Can we invite them to faction? Council market access, trade embargo. Maybe not. Well, we formed our own faction. Still wouldn't mind joining someone else's group if we had to, but it's probably too late at this point now. It is. Uh, I'm gonna grab this. That'd be nice. What do we got here? Ah. Well, as long as we can win on defense, that's the most important thing right now. Alright. You bunch of scum suckers. This is rightfully our territory. <sighs> Another two divisions in there, god dang it. Yeah, head north. Don't focus on the south. Our darkest days, our darkest hours, final days of Europa. I don't I wouldn't want to get this book on my desk. Well, I don't know I know I do. And as we're becoming uh oh, hello. Are we holding out? Yeah, yeah, we're holding out. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, come on. Daily just really wants to die. Ooh. Could we also push out here? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. There's going a lot of divisions in there. Oh, hello. That's weird. Okay, whatever. We're gonna be here, Mountaineers. Oh, I mean, that's still would be pretty good. South attack and organization. Fine, screw it, we'll do it. Oh, we're getting attacked here. Not good. 
Are you all three going in there? No, you're not. Come on. And... Oh, come on. Bruh, skis. Hey, we got more horses, though. What do we got here? Infantry expert? Yeah. Actually, do you have... No, that's good. Well, that's what we're doing here for now. We've got a lot of things to do like this. And hopefully we can get back over... Oh, my God. Okay, we got over there. Thank God. So we'll march on the Bukhara. Oh, we can bypass that, I guess. And then establish our control. Our agreement, eye to eye with the eagle. Join Russia, we're not already in a faction. Establish United Front. An invitation from Kabul. The Baki Conference. Invite fellow Muslim nations to our faction. Establish a United Front. Turkestan, Kiva, and al Alash Orda. Well... I'm not sure if that would be really good for us, not gonna lie. Um, while the nations of made of Turkestan have long been divided, they must realize that much more is at stake than the petty squabbles. Each day these nations bicker among themselves and the Russians build up in strength. Prepare to conquer Turkestan once again. We'll put aside our differences and form a united coalition and get the Russian menace. Well, the Baki Conference. Across the Karpath, Caspian Sea, our fellow brothers of faith in the Azerbaijan are threatened by the Cossack brigands and Russian peerless. If the rich oil fields of Azerbaijan would be surrendered to the Russians, their conquest of the free peoples of Asia would be unstoppable. And their mission to contain Russian aggression, our diplomats will meet in the capital of Baki to unite our two great nations against the Russian bear and then the stalwart shield of Islam. We have worked together containing Russian aggression in our own backyard, we must set our sights outward. Throughout the world, our brothers of the faith are threatened, we Afghans will take up the mantle as true defenders of Islam, transforming our regional alliance to a global pact of united in faith. Well, I mean, I guess at this point it really doesn't matter since they're all dead anyways. Um... But hey, that's what we got. Invitation to Profintern. The Soviet government has offered us to assist in our trade unions and join the Profintern organization. The International of Trade Union aims to create an organization of trade unions in order to achieve security of workers' rights globally. They also state that their task is not the destruction, but the conquest of trade unions, that is, the multi-million mass that is in the old trade unions. We see benefits of this organization. Let's join. That sounds shady. Oh, let's join. That sounds like a good idea. And also, here we're at. We've done actually very quite well. We've lost 158,000. Versus uh, 1.2 million. No, actually, never mind. We didn't do 1.2 million. We did half a million. So overall, not bad. Um, the Barty Commune has inflicted that many on Delhi, but we're doing okay. We've actually took Delhi already, and just by microwing, we're actually doing relatively all right. So, um, so we're just microwing across the entire front line here, and we're doing well. Like I said, uh, what else we have? Also, we have planes, but they can't do anything. So we're just training them until they all die. Got some material support, which is fine. Um, I do want to attack these guys. Some of these guys are leaving. And... Huh. There. Can we do anything here? Like, slowly beat them up? That would be fantastic. Because I, I would like to do a general attack eventually as well, but... Having our cav here, they've done very, very well for us. Very, very well. They're attacking us there, 68. What the most important thing is, is to reduce their organization as much as possible. Get there. Oh, another horse division? Yes, please. Yes. <coughs> Negotiations succeed with the Baki Conference. The Azerbaijani have agreed to join our alliance. Uh, sending a diplomatic delegation home with guests and the best wishes from a nuclear an ally. Our influence grows. Fantastic. What else we got around here? The Star Wars Shoot of Islam, yeah. Which I think we read earlier, so. Just keep it up. Of course, they're forcing the defense, so what else do you expect? And they're attacking our line, and they can't do anything about it, which is fantastic. Ah, there we go, look at that. And we have a cup of coffee here, too. Beautiful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're now going to wait for our guys to get on the line. And that would do general attack, probably. Hmm. Anything here we really care about? Not too much. Extort heroism? 
We could, but we can have a waste. Let's save up our political power. Sure. Sure. Why not? And Rangers, I mean, that'd be good. Now, we still can't micro quite on the right side here, but we could probably micro here. I think it's good right here. Yeah, the Delhi government is not doing so, super hotly. We have only 24% war score participation, which kind of sucks, not going to lie, but... Yeah, they want to do this. We'll just go down here, maybe. of Islam. And eh, I can support, we'll support Chinese Germany, why not? Good. So we can at least get two, rid of two more divisions, which would be nice. And just go in. It's fine. Good. We know we're on the front line, but whatever. Come on, kill him off, kill him off, kill him off, kill him off. Defense radar, it's 1942. It's an F. Falsh uh, rifles. There you go, nice. Good stuff. Still inflicting more casualties, we're 25%. Nice. These guys are coming back just a tiny bit. They do have Burma and them others as a puppet, but whatever. Two better already. Yes, please. I'm seeing a potential settlement right here. Go ahead, make us proud. To the hills and mountains we go. Four divisions, that's a lot of divisions. You know what, we're gonna wait for that then. Let them reshuffle. They still like attacking us though. Hello? How do we get encircled? Yeah, you're gonna hold out. Of course, defense. Fine. Next, next larger city. You all come here and smash them this way. No, no, come on. You know, I click on a single division to lead the way in there, and they all want to go in there. Makes no sense, man. How do we not take this tile? Hello? Come on, do better. They're just Greeks. Chinese sovereignty, what other focuses can we do? What the heck? Ah, wait, the fourth Anglo-Afghan war. Oh, well, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, we'll actually do the fourth Anglo-Afghan war then. The war against our Indian rivals kicked off once more, therefore we must put all effort in ensuring total victory. For we were to succumb, our rule will surely be in grave danger. So, they saw that as a potential way to do that. Okay, we'll do that there.
Alright, you want to attack? We'll attack you too. And, uh, request allied support. The Germans and Ottomans have always claimed to be friends with us against the Imperialists. So we must request they hold true to that promise as of right now. We're ill prepared to equip every soldier with a rifle and we desperately need more material support in order to continue the fight after the element of surprise is worn off. Just got a micro just a little bit. There you go. Go here too. Yep. That's how you do it. Synthetic experiments. Extraction. Because we are out of steel. Which is not ideal. Not ideal to be out of steel. Let's see, trucks we're good with. Of course, allied support. Rather than nationalists, nationalists and the radical Islamists may be upset with our regime for not allowing their following their doctrine. However, they hate the foreign imperialists some more. We're unified, our enemies of, and us now share an enemy. Every son and daughter of Afghanistan must give their all to defeat the imperialists. It's very true. The Turks in arms, as their troops pour over the crates of rifles and masses of artillery that they've uh, awed by the craftsmanship. The Turks promised us weapons, and they have delivered in spades. We begin immediately to disperse them to our soldiers on the front, and these weapons straight from the Caliph. Allah will surely look upon us favorably. Allahu Akbar. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's good. German resources arrive. Great rifles by the crate, ammo by the box, and artillery to the pallet. All arrive in Kabul airport aboard German planes. The most almost state-of-the-art weapons are of war, are far cry from what we were using previously, and as such, our men will require a lot of retraining to properly use them. Despite this, we can now fight on more equal terms with our enemy and have a greater chance of victory. Maybe one day we can repay them. Mm, we'll see. We got all the steel we need. Raise the banners. War is upon us once again. Afghanistan must become unified for this war or else we all suffer, regardless of distance from Kabul. Regardless of faction and tribe, all Afghani people must give the emir blood and toil. Our very survival depends on it. Oh, look at this, foreign policy. Tibet, national revolutionary government, Qing and Pro Authority. About Yemen? Sure. There you go. Nice. Raise the banners. Placate tribal leaders. Uh, doesn't seem really good, but more than just one tribal elders are angry at a regime. Many tribes either refuse to lend their support to the Emir or are reluctant in their efforts. We'll need their support in order to have a fighting chance, so we will fill their ears with promises of wealth and prosperity should our combined efforts succeed. Absolutely. Hmm. There's so many divisions here. I'm just trying to find easy weak points where we can exploit them. Who's over here? Out of the Barate Kami. So if we can strike here, that'd be great, but. Hmm. Keep pushing through. Deutsche Luftexpedition in Afghanistan. Our friends in Germany are eyeing our work extensively as the top brass in their institutes of war study engagements to better improve the doctrine. We should request an increased correspondence as well as support from the Luft Expedition. With his men in the air wings at our backs, we'll fire better against the Antons of technological advantage. Can you guys actually do anything here? Yes, you can. Thank God. These guys can't. Dump you guys off. We got planes that can't fly. Can't do anything. Barty Kami has not come back very much. They were on the brink for a while, but they're not done as much as I hope they would have. Endorsement by the Caliph. Well, as the Caliph in Constantinople to respond to Jihad, the conquered daily from the imperialists, two Muslims around the world will answer the call to arms against infidels and let us support in both steel and blood. Yeah, why not? 
the Lift Expedition arrives. The Germans have sent help. So got Lift Expeditions arrived in Kabul to a seemingly equal amount of cheers and jeers. The roar of a regiment of the finest planes of the world is such a beautiful sound. These German air wings and volunteers have been drilled into desert warfare during a stopover in Aleppo and as such are not totally out of their element, however. It was a mishap. As a German bomber bounced off of the makeshift air base in Kabul before crashing to the ground, the plane's landing gear was ripped off by the bumping uneven surface before the nose was even sent greening into the dirt. <clears throat> in any case, German advisors are already discussing with their military base, or brass, on how to best utilize the expedition. While well, Guilf centered around the remnants of the newly revitalized Anita Ma Hentek expedition welcomed these pasty white men with open arms, traditional elements, with their nation so regarded them with suspicion. Habibullah, that has built the reputation of being the lapdog of the Hun, and the new developments within their emirate, seem to confirm such a tale. It remains to be seen whether the German elements within their nation will lead to victory or disgrace. Willkommen of Avenbrüder. Hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Beautiful. Then we could hold here and attack here. That would be the best, but we gotta wait. <clears throat> Kick in the door. Uh, the Delhi regime is weak internally, and with only imperialist garrison holding the rotten structure up. We've been holding partisans of the provisional government for years, it's now time for them to prove their usefulness. Send in some collaborators of the provisional government and able to stabilize them from the inside out. Jihad and address from Constantinople, the Caliphs declare that our war against the Raj is a jihad to free the shackled faithful under British imperialism. The jubilant Ottoman crowd, the Sultan Rafet Abel, unleashed a tirade against the centuries-long British yoke under the Indian under the Indian subcontinent, and demanded that self-determination be granted to the Indian population. There has been an immediate boon to our efforts as pious Muslims from across the region, and in fact the royals begin to arrive in Kabul to join a struggle. Our airports and travel stops are overrun by pilgrims and warlords, or warriors who seek Allah's glory by supporting our struggle. However, a counter movement led by Amir of Mecca has decried this as a purely political maneuver by the Sultan to gain influence in the region, and the Ottoman arrivals in Cairo have condemned the Caliph's actions. Political play or not, the results are undeniable as warlords or warlords, warriors from around the Islamic world come to our aid. Inshallah. Fantastic. <clears throat> And if anything, uh, we actually are good on it. Look at all that artillery we've got. Which tells me we need to put some mobile artillery on here. It won't slow us down, but gives us way more of a punch. Rangers or cavalry? Let's remove it. This one actually gives you initiative, which is kind of nice, too. More attack and defense. This just gives you more movement. On everything. And gives you way more defense. This cavalry recon gives you more a little more attack. Three recon, three to recon. Uh, slightly more heart attack for rangers, same HP. But you don't get the soft attack with artillery. Artillery support in line, soft attack. Yeah, because if you go with rangers. It doesn't help you with that. So, this will help us with more soft attack. <clears throat> so, now we're really out of stuff. Send in the hounds. Not all Indians, except the rule of the Raj, within our nation, uh, resides the provisional government of India, a native resistance group dedicated to finishing the destruction of the Raj. We've given them refuge in our nation long ago, however. They've long wasted away in exile, never finding an opportunity to strike at the Raj. Look at that. Or, <clears throat> uh, nor return home. Now, the war having broken out, we finally found a reason to use them. They shall be smuggled back into their homeland to commit acts of sabotage and riotous sedition to divide our enemy's attention, the Raj. For all their faults, they're much bigger than us, and with their undivided attention, will surely fall. With them feeling the heat of the new fire in the rear, however, will surely gain a righteous victory. Who knows, maybe they'll even gain powers in the ruins of the Raj, united against imperialism. Nice. Now that we've done this with the, the horses, they really don't uh, want to kill us off. They think we're really weak. We're slightly weak. Ah, look at all these people. Yes. Brotherhood across the world, yeah. Give us your stuff. Give yourself in a line that we're trying to shoot you down with a crap ton of artillery and whatnot. We're at 26%, we've lost 50,000, they've lost 700,000 to us. Casualties are mounting for them like crazy. I love it. You know what, they want to keep attacking, that's fine with me. I'm surprised how long these guys can keep it up though. Nice. 
we do this, we're not gonna be able to get there in time, probably. Still taking our lime. These guys are coming back a little bit too. So help us uh, consolidate our, the lines and whatnot. Looking better. We have more than enough infantry equipment now. Fantastic. More breakthrough and line artillery. Look at that. Combat width goes down and get more defense. Not too nerdy. That sounds kind of nice. What if you just took indoor? Would they be upset? Maybe, maybe not. Nice, right, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Go there, go there. Get to the river line. Look now, huh? Defense already is good. Oh, they're so close to being capitulated. Actually, how much war score do we have? 36%? Hmm. Never enough. Also, Iran, uh, peace out with them too. That's why we're not fighting them as well. Or they're not fighting them as well. You know, if we take this tile, we'll capitulate. Add some material support, that's fine. Bopal? That should be it then. There you go. Beautiful. Get rid of the Entente. The Raj and the Ramparts. Our brave soldiers have put the mongrel dogs out of the Empire to rob. With the remnants of the Anglo military staff sailing away from the subcontinent, we stand before a golden opportunity. With the total occupation of what was the Dominion of India, or the British Raj as most people know it, our government can put considerable pressure onto the Entente to sign a magnanimous peace treaty. As a result, they would relinquish their hold over India and agree to temporary occupation to be fully incorporated into their administrative zones. Although that would be the most obvious solution to the current conflict, some of the ranks are saying that Delhi has never been it, truly our goal, and that the entire Entente must crumble before us, no matter the choice, which surely affect the global balance of power. Come, Ambassador, come and bring the treaty. Hey, look at that. Now that's freaking nice. Oh, so we got more here, too, huh? Ah, yes. We read about this last time. Very nice, very nice. Can we go to war with these guys? 125 days, huh? Can we go to war against these guys? 125 days. So, to wait 125 days, we must well do this anyways. Look at that. Beautiful. Magnemonious. We can make convoys. Now 
Look at all the stuff they're trying to do. I don't think we can, be we can become India. That'd be really cool if we could, though. Love to convert all these guys to mountaineers. But we quite can't do that, unfortunately. Um, coming to civilian trains. I mean, that's, that's all right. Don't really need that. Resource wise, we're looking okay. There really wasn't very much down here, was there? Forty-two. Sub. Sure. Mechanized, not super important. Um, here. It's not bad. This one's going up and down. Compliance is looking up decent in some places. Do we need anything majorly besides Ari? No, we need more planes though. Birth of the Afghan Navy. Afghan Merchant Marine, of course. I'll we'll go to war with the Republic of Natal. Natal? Nepal. And here we go, everybody. We have just a small window in which we can go to war with them, because we already made a justification. But we have a truce until the 22nd, so now we can go to war with them and have a good old time, shall we? I'm not sure how much... I guess they have no divisions. Of course, we just found the Barty Commune. It takes another about three months, and we got them. Hey, got some free guns. Love it. Um, so, that was pretty easy. I wonder if we can do anything against them. If not, then we'll just call it a campaign. But hey, we're getting better subs. Which is fantastic. We're done mobilizing. Um, do we get to annex them at all? Please? Yes, no? Maybe so? Ah. Making Afghanistan bigger. Yeah, so I know we're supposed to be pacifists here, but the Union People's Drug is looking pretty good. Baluchistan, huh? That really should have been ours. Oh well. We've got a few bigger things going on right now. Because you're a part of the 4th International. Yeah. There goes the Philippines. There's the Soviet... Oh, they actually call themselves the Soviet Union now. German Empire completely destroyed the Ukrainian social state. Interesting. There's Bulgaria. Hmm. Bigger than normal. Could you ate up half of Romania. Oh. Duchy of Illyria. Oh, well, doesn't look like the Austrians are doing too well. We've become king of Lombardy. Oh, huh. Canada made it to the uh, Union of Britain. That's not looking too good, Germany. You might have a slight red invasion, but... For us in this campaign, it's okay with us. Fate of Nepal. Oops, my finger slipped. Towed rocket artillery, just because I totally... I'm not going to throw rocket artillery on our guys. But totally not, yeah, totally not. We could really use more steel. Yeah. Hey, look at that. More air XP. Yes, please. And we actually have cast, so. Go figure. Yeah, but the world's looking alright. Oh, you know, I think it's looking pretty thick. Look at that. Dutch. Dutch. Ozim. Looking pretty good, too. Now that you have a bunch of different giant factions here in East Asia. Hmm. Hashemat Arabia. Who's leading the Soviet Union? Lozovsky. The third. Bukhar is still here. Polna is still here. Kingdom of Canada. South Rhodesia is gone. Ooh, better engineers are nice. Please. So the Reds are doing really well in America. Four United Mexican states. <laughs> oh, the federal government's still here. That sucks. Pacific states are doing alright, but I think the Reds are going to win in the end. That's actually really important. What should we got here? Oh, look at that. Central American Republic. That's cool. Uh, uh, French Revolutionary Syndicate. Oh. Social Republic of Argentina. The international is very strong in South America. Oh, the Cairo Axis is interesting. Sarajevo Accords. The Ottoman Empire and the Austrians are working together. That's odd. 
Goringia, that's a fat Goringia. East African Federation, huh? Are you Hitler stash? Huh. Goringia is actually doing really, really well. Huh. I really wonder if we can fight these guys at all. I've got about a week left, it's not bad. So been up an airbase, uh, build up some more uh, infrastructure here. That'd be good. What should we got? Airfields, we got quite a few airbases here and there. Hmm. Well, we might as well create a national police. Oh, there you go. So let's go and save and see, see what it's like. So the Bharti come took a couple of hundred thousand, if not at least a million casualties against the Dominion Delhi. Of course, India's subcontinent, even if it's broken to thirds, they still have plenty of manpower to do whatever they really want to. No, no questions asked. We'll see if we go to war with them. See what happens, because they're fighting everybody. Oops, maybe we should stop training as well. So immediately start attacking us. Not good. You just don't lose, you know? So we've lost 3,000 versus their, wow. They've lost again, a lot against New England. And Portugal, the Netherlands, a couple hundred thousand here and there. Yeah, I have a feeling they're going to attack us some more too, so. Yeah. Huh. This is also why I want to get rocket artillery, because that'll help us just kill off a lot of our enemies. Which is always a great thing, you know? Armor trains, we don't really need armor trains. Pearsons. There you go. We need more sport equipment, but that's alright. Maybe we can import some more. So we're lacking already. We got anti air. We saw a little bit of rocket artillery. That's nice. Any more that we can get would be great. We'll also improve our uh, factories. I just want to see what we could do here. Because they have quite a few divisions, but they're not very good. Oh, yeah, guys. Yeah. Ah, yes. Can we call another jihad, please? Because right now we've delivered not enough casualties yet. Give them one more time to recover. And let's start attacking again like animals. Can we go in, actually? Attack us, I'm fine with that. Keep attacking us. See what happens. Division for division, I think ours are superior. We just don't have as many divisions. We have way fewer divisions than they do. Oh, they're doing right spec though. Truck drawn artillery would be nice, we're just gonna use them as support companies. Even more, if we possibly can. Just just tons of soft attack. Ooh, recruit a head of intelligence. We need to put someone in charge of an intelligence agency who can be an effective director. Yeah, why not? Come on, just just destroy their strength. Hello. Yeah, of course we'll take everything you have. Are we on the bottom of- Yes! We've delivered 159,000 casualties while taking 20,000 of our own. Now that being said, the Bharati Commune, 3 million manpower, basically 4 million manpower. Insane amount. We can't see everything that they're doing, unfortunately, but that's why we want a spy agency. That's why we're uh, making more cities. That's why we're trying to get everything done. Oh! I think we should be okay from here on out. Emperor Brazil. Oh god, this is disgusting. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, Germany, look at that! They actually pushed the Reds out. Holy crap! I've never seen a Germany be able to do that. Like, lose like a quarter of their nation and then push them back out. Holy cow, what happened there? The German Empire's not doing so well in Ukraine, but you know what else is new? That's actually kind of cool. 
You never know what's going to happen. You can't have an idea what's going to happen, but I never know what's exactly going to happen. Uh, I kind of think about going to total, total mob, but can we get to... to encourage women to work? I mean, we are... we have liberalized a little bit here and there. There you go. And we're making a navy. I mean, Afghanistan is going to rule the waves. Before we make this, though, we need a snorkel. We don't want to get found out, do we? We're lacking a lot of things here now, aren't we? Uh, Mountaineers, fine, you can do that. Because all we have are Mountaineers now, except for one infantry division. Now we have no infantry divisions, just Mountaineers and uh, horses. I love it. So what are we at now? 24,000 to... Hey, we moved to second place. Quarter million. Nice. How's your superiority do going? Ah, we have your superiority. Look at that. It's fantastic. Oh, it's going to be even more devastating. Oh, I forgot. I keep forgetting to increase our industry output and resource extraction gain and whatnot, but still. Yeah, interesting. We'll just be here kind of doing this for a while, and then if we kill these guys off, we might go to war with the Prince of Federation, Madras, and the rest, and unite the uh, whole southern subcontinent. And here we're at, everybody. Burma's gone. Bharatiya Kamin is gone. We're attacking Madras. We're not doing super as well as I'd like so far in the, initially in this war, but we're doing all right. We've lost about 10,000 versus 50,000, 60,000. I mean, we're not winning a whole bunch just because we've got a lot of river crossings and whatnot. But we are winning in quite a few places, and uh, yeah, we're doing all right. Hey, look at that. An encirclement. Seven divisions. Very nice. I think they can hide behind the fortresses. Well, I'll probably just go around them. I didn't think I'd end up trying to unite the Indian subcontinent when I first started this campaign, but you know, there we're at. Beautiful. We've lost quite a few to uh, combat casualties, which sucks, but you know, whatever. Um, we have only 72 divisions left. We're roughly equal size. We killed off 10 times as many as we've lost, so. All in all, so far, it's very good. If we take this tile, we can encircle a lot of guys down here, too. Nice. Yeah, after that initial thrust, we're doing very well. And we actually have a navy too. The Bharati coming, we took a couple ships from them as well. Not, nothing impressive, nothing unique. Just a couple. And there's 22 divisions encircled. All fighting and dying in the mountains. Something we are very good at doing. They've killed off almost a million of them already. Look at that. Of course, we did break their sire to help us out in the beginning because fighting over the rivers is just god awful. But, you know, whatever. Uh, hello? Would you like to go to Madras? Prevent air. Well, we've sure, certainly turned Afghanistan, or the people, uh, or the Union of People's Jurgas, into uh, the regional power, if not a superpower. Well, not quite a superpower, but we're quite the power here in the Indian subcontinent. Do we have all the Indian subcontinent? No, and we could take out more of the Socialist Republic of Iran, but I think for our campaign, this has actually been one of the funnest campaigns I've done in a very long time. Um, this is, um, thank you to whoever recommended it to me. Um, uh, I often. At this point, now take a look at the recommendations on my Discord and to see. Wow, Greece is really down here, huh? Um, uh, what people want me to play. So, uh, I know the channel's recording, someone wants to play in Tiono, Sony, uh, you know, Guangdong, and go down the Sony route, which I've already done twice, technically. So, I'm not sure if I'll do that. Uh, looks like Hungarians are doing well. The Germans have done exceedingly well. Canadians have been kicked out of the Union of Britain. The Germans are, well, they actually look like they've fallen apart here in the East, but hey. I think that's going to end us here. This has gone on way longer than I thought it would because it's actually been a lot of fun. So, if you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.